So hey, hey, everybody. Um, I want to sh quickly show you the new logon duration feature in Control Hub 4.1, which enables you to accurately measure how long it takes for users to log on, including breakdown of the various interesting phases. So in this example, I'm going to launch a full Citrix Zenup 6.5 published desktop. And I'll start the desktop now. But you'll notice I'll start measuring the login duration from the moment the server connection is actually up. And that's about um, now, right? And that's because we are actually measuring login duration from the moment the user has finished successful indication and until the desktop is actually ready for interaction for the end user. So obviously, we're measuring all the important phases of the login sequence. Uh, this could be the Windows profile load, uh, group policy processing, which, as you might notice, takes a while here in my environment. Um, and after group policy, we can actually measure the desktop initialization, the exposure load time, uh, and show you in the end which phase took the longest and enable you to troubleshoot long, long durations. So we're now waiting for the desktop to become actually available, and then I'll stop the stopwatch. So we can see how long it took from the end user perspective to complete this logon. Now you can see this is a new profile. So active setup is also running on the user session, which is part of the desktop initialization phase. So once the start button is available, like here, I can stop my measurements. So we can see from the end user perspective, it took 59 seconds, quite a long time for the desktop to appear. Let's switch to the control up console. So this is control up 4.1 running in my environment. Let's look on the CU demo. This is the account I was using. And here are the statistics. So 58 seconds, that's how long it took from control up and standpoint for this user session, which is very accurate. You can see 59 seconds on the user perspective and 58 seconds from the end user, from the control up uh, column itself. And here you can see the actual breakdown, three seconds to load the profile, 20 seconds to process group policies, 17 seconds to process the desktop. Again, this is mostly during, due to the active setup phase. And other components, which could be profile management solutions, uh, user unit initialization, like drive mapping and printer mapping, and other um, components, which are part of the login sequence. Now, obviously, I can use Control App to continue my investigation. Uh, in this case, if I want to see which group policies caused uh, a 20 second processing time, I can, for example, run the script based action. Uh, list user GPO action, which will show me exactly which group policies were applied inside this user session. Right, so this is, was a quick introduction of the new Controller 4.1 logo integration feature. Hope you enjoyed it.